I'm Alex Valtrades, and I'm back with another Everyday Let's Play, The Outer Worlds. And before I get into it, I want to tell you guys something. So there's might be a strike tomorrow, that's Tuesday, November 26th, where no one, well, a large group of people don't upload videos. So I'm probably going to take part one day without me uploading one of these Everyday Let's Plays. It's not going to be that big a deal. Um, but if you really want to show your support for that, don't watch YouTube at all on Tuesday, November 26th. Because th this is for support of um, YouTubers like me. Alright, so enough of the serious stuff. Let's get into it. My allergies are just, like, I, I feel like I say that a lot, but this week has been bad, and I think it's because it's been raining. I'm, like, extra miserable. I have a candle going that's supposed to, it's a scent that's supposed to, like, open your sinuses, so. I, I can't smell it. That's a good sign. When I destroyed that mod, that one time, right when I hit OK, I read the thing that explained that the mod was going to be destroyed. <laughs> so I was like, oh damn it, like immediately. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to someone about the fact that um, going to the geothermal plant basically um, said, oh, you've made your decision. Uh, and they agreed with me that that's really, like, that's a, that's a long-term issue with these kinds of games. And it hasn't really changed, like, at all. Like, even this game didn't fix it. Which is kind of annoying. Like, why it's like, for the some of the things it does well, it doesn't do, it, it still has some of the same problems that these games have always had. Like that. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. Don't talk for me. I was gonna say that. This is a nice room feature you've got. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing wow. illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Wow. Whatever Immediately you a nice walk, person. Leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Oh god. I feel bad. <sighs> you must be Adelaide. I have been called that among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Well, it's your name, so... Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Is he here? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. I would hope so. Um, Reed sent me to make peace with you. Is this your greenhouse? Looks like you've made a home for yourself here. Is this your greenhouse? No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of your the universe. could have been plural. The universe yields its bounty equally. Oh my god. Of prejudice. You absolute hu hippie. <laughs> I'm surprised you've managed to grow anything out here. Funny, never knew you could grow tripe in a garden. Let's say... Uh... One. The soil around the veil went sour years ago. But I found a way to sweeten it back up. Sugar? The recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. I was gonna say, those first two things aren't gonna actually help you make soil 
work bowl again. <laughs> uh, looks like you've made a home for yourself here, out here. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball feel... cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. Okay, your, your voice is, um, the things you say are very flowery, and to be honest with you, it's putting me off. You put a terrible place to put down roots. Why did you leave your old home? It is an unpleasant story, dear, but the short of it is that Sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. Oh. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? You're living off power that belongs to the town. Come back to the cannery. That's about it. Reed asks you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Something about coming back to town or losing power. I wasn't really listening. <laughs> Let's go with two. Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. So, for all your big talk, you're not willing to that do diplomacy? I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, let's say one. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Because I need the power converter, regulator, whatever. One. Your camp has a power regulator. I need it to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. Are you serious? This is my choice. This is horrible. You should divert power away from Edgewater and put <laughs> our end of the grid. Think about it. We'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Oh, don't. <sighs> yeah, it, it would be a hero to her, only. What have you got against the town? You can't just ask me to do that on pretty words. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. Oh, hi, baby. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Uh... I actually don't. <clears> hmm <throat> Okay, what? Well, lay down, girl. Or something. <laughs> I guess that is something. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go with two. I don't much like you throwing that in her face to get me on your side. I'm alright. I ain't so fragile. That was unkind. Yeah, it was. I'm sorry, dear. <sighs> um, two. What do you have against people trying to make a living? It's not much of a living. Get your Every single nose out of there. Town has sold themselves to space <laughs> the company owns them. Body, blood, and bones. You've been there. You've seen it. All anyone ever does is toil over a cannery. They give their lives for some heartless corporation. And then they're tossed into a Spacer's Choice brand cemetery. Okay. What happens if I help you? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. I wonder about that, though. Because if Edgewater shuts down, 
the spacers choice stop supporting the town and since they're living off the town's power do they then fail all right i'm gonna consider it i trust you will listen to your conscience it might be a gamble worth taking oh jesus <laughs> There's... she got hair all over my face. Okay. <laughs> ah. My armor makes it worse. These stills I don't care about. Um... Nope, one more. I'll put another one in leadership. Okay. Yep. Time dilation location hits. You have unlocked lo location it affects for tactical time dilation. Hitting enemies in different locations during TTD maims or cripples those body parts. Try different locations to see the different effects. Hits to the chest produce different effects when using different weapons. Okay. And perks. Perk. perk. Not my time dilation, which I never apparently use. Walk. Print. Let's go with that one because um she uh kills a lot of people. All right. Oh, in my journals. Divert power from the geothermal plant. Divert power from the geothermal plant. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Which one do I want to do? I guess I'll take it away from the town. I feel bad. I mean, those people... I mean, I'm not gonna feel good about either of these choices. They suck. Let's be honest here. They both suck. Either way, I'm screwing someone over, you know? Either way, I'm hurting somebody. I don't exactly like that. That side entrance. Is this it? I'm sorry, you were saying.
Oh, I see one. Can you not get in the way? Is that all? Oh wait, where is she? And who is she fighting? Okay. <laughs> you say so. Time to look around again. Or going in. to poke around in here you talk so much another thing that we complained about when it came to this game was why not just hire two different voice actors male and female to perform this part And then let users choose which one they're gonna use. You know? Let players just, you know, like how they let you use the balding on the women and the girly hairstyles on the men. Missy! Also, why are there no romance options? Which is. Okay, that door does not open. So while I like this game, it- I mean, there could be improvements, obviously. I do not have enough pack. Missy! Stop crying. Ooh, a ring. Missy, no! Oh, God. I do not have the energy for you. Oh! Who are you asking? There's two of us. Missy? No.
She's insane. Missy. Missy, come here. So they, Spacer's Choice abandoned the botanical garden and the geothermal plant. Things don't seem to be going very well for Spacer's Choice out here. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. Whoa, that thing exploded. There's a ladder here. All I could think was that that looked like a coffee thermos from Alan Wake. I mean, not really, but just enough to make me think of it. So my companions don't care if I steal things. This is where I need to be, but I will come back here. <laughs> After having checked out other areas. Spacer's Choice Property, Manager's Office, Terminal Access, Welcome, J. Braden. Um, unlock office door. Okay, door unlocked. Return to route. Messages. From Spacer's Choice. <clears throat> Get it together. Ms. Braden. This letter serves as an informal notification of our company's displeasure toward your management of the Emerald Vale Ge Geothermal Plant for reasons related to exceeding your staff budget in your latest quarterly report. Please select five subordinates to be dismissed immediately. Additionally, please contact our office to schedule your official reprimand at your earliest convenience. Failure to schedule your official reprimand resu will result in an official reprimand. What? <laughs> the Spacer's Choice family would like to collectively remind you that working for Spacer's Choice is not a right, but a privilege. Uh, it sounds like a requirement. Uh, and this is from her to her. No need for a reprimand. To the esteemed members of the Emerald Vale Development and Oversight Committee, I hope this letter finds you wealthy. 
After due consideration of your last letter, I have identified and terminated no fewer than five subordinates who were unable to provide sufficient justification for their ongoing employment. I would like to remind the Oversight Committee that <clears throat> while most of Emerald Vale has failed to meet its production and output quotas, particularly our agriculture and fishing canning departments, neither of which are anywhere close to profitable, the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains committed to providing cheap, cost-effective power to the entire region. All right, her name's Juno, apparently. All right, and now two. We have investigated the claims you made against the profitability of the greater Emerald Vale region. Our offices agree with you. Agriculture and fishing canning have experienced a steady decline, while the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains somewhat profitable. Our offices are currently investigating ways to implement additional cost-saving measure measures, which will ultimately lead to a leaner, more streamlined, more efficient geothermal power plant. Please be informed that the Spacer's Choice Development and Oversight Office has taken a significant insurance policy against the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. The office, was, the office would like to assure you that this insurance policy is a standard procedure. Do not attempt to interpret, understand, or otherwise extrapolate meaning from this decision. They destroyed the geothermal plant. As a special courtesy, we have deployed a proprietary team of engineering specialists to the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. The team of specialists has been instructed to refit and upgrade the plant's population of auto mechanicals free of charge. Yeah, they very clearly sabotaged the geothermal plant because of that insurance policy. How nice of them. That was quick. Now we're in our bathroom. an exit. Okay. Good to know. Ugh, still not good enough for that. Oh, unlocked door. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's return to route. I do not have the code all right, let's look at these logs. Tanaka. Why are there so many characters named Tanaka? <laughs> Chester Higgins again, that whole head, found him fiddling around with one of the mechanicals, so I had to write him up for tampering with company property, just in case I'm reading this a couple of days from now and fe feeling bad for what I've done. Let me just remind myself that I've been warned before that I've warned him before. He's always been a little crooked in the skull. He was working on some logic module. I confiscated it. Should be in my lockaway room for the foreseeable future. I want that. Okay. Doesn't sit right with me. Company's been replacing our guards with auto mechanicals. At this rate, I'm going to end up a chief of security with no staff. Just a small army of mechanicals knocking about, guns pointed every which way. Man, no wonder Ludwig is afraid of the mechanicals. They use them as a weapon to, like, undermine the geothermal plant. <sighs> Company tells us they're safe, programmed to treat us humans like their own. People are liable liable to break down, but an automatic never will. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know, it doesn't sit right with me, but the company's never been run before, I suppose. Eh. Worst has happened, mechanical's gone crazy, locked myself down here, just trying to gather my courage, gonna make a mad dash for the control room, might be able to shut things down. Will delete this entry if I ever return, which means he died. Greetings, Security Chief S. Tanaka. This is an automated message initiated by Spacer's Choice 
worker safety contingency protocols, a security lockdown has been initiated. This is not a test. Your behavior during this lockdown will be reviewed during quarterly audit. Anxiety is a common side effect of life-threatening situations engendered by security lockdowns. Fight back against anxiety with an ice-cold battle of zero-G brew. Zero-G brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh my god. So, as soon as he put that message in, they walked down, probably, trapping him because he figured it out. I need more mad burps. Suntan lotion. There's nothing in that one. Sealed. So I can't go any further at this time. All right. Plant status. Let's take a look at that first. Uh, at 22% efficiency, power is currently being distributed to Edgewater, South Tuna Cannery, Botanical Laboratory. Warning, structural damage detected. Please notify your designated supervisor. Safety features detected. High likelihood of moderate to severe structural damage. Redirecting power is a is an irreversible procedure. Power redirection function has failed. Manual override re required. Please activate all three electrical track switches. Okay. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Which means it won't be easy at all. <laughs> this is sealed. So much more geothermal plant than. <laughs> There are no notes in here or anything. I don't have any quest items, do I? Oh, it's right there. Why can't I read this? Okay, apparently I have it. It's not something I actually need to remember, is it? Because I can't read that. <laughs> Unlocked door. Okay. That was dumb. <laughs> you didn't actually give me a passcode to open that door. You just... I wouldn't have mind trying to remember a number. I know there's a bad guy down there. There he is. That's the last of them. Really, I'm seeing more on the map. You have to switch to my pistol soon.
These doors are so noisy. <laughs> that stupid animal. Processing. Oh Jesus, that stirred the shit out of me. All these poor people. Just doing their jobs. And Spacer's Choice just sold them out. Yeah, I'm gonna divide, divert power to the botanical gardens. I don't trust Spacer's Choice to not just keep screwing people over. <laughs> they don't care. Is that one alive? Well, I guess not alive. Two more. What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk? If we send power to the veil, are you saying I'm swin? Hey, this is what I'm. Tracking. I'm I'm trying to send it to them. This is a locker room. Slash bathroom. Yeah, I know. Nothing bad. Alright, let me see if I can break some stuff down. Three, seventy three. So I just cube. Breakdown. Yes. This is. What is this? Is this melee or? Okay. Plasma rifle. Grenade launcher. Jesus. I have so many white pistols. I don't need these. Bolter pistol. Revolver. No, 
Oh, it's the codex that's telling me to look at it. I can never tell where it wants me to look in the codex, though. Alright, moving a little better after that. Go away, Phantom! What the fuck? Phantom? Just leave me alone. Who is that? Where even are you? No, 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 just leave me alone. Okay, now you're starting to annoy me. I'm very much real, and I will shoot you if you do not stop blathering on like a moron. Ah. Oh, that looks great. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Is the end of my... Yes, shut off the release valves. Thank you. Yeah, that's much better. I don't have to worry quite so much. Oh, a workbench. Okay. Oh. Can I close it? I can. Cool. So I'm not ready yet. Send the power to Miss McDevitt. Yeah, that's what we're doing. To the veil? They lose power. Durr. She's not the smartest uh, girl, is she? It's not. Processing. Performing an error. Incoming. What is this? How does this thing work? Oh. Oh. I have to get really close to that. Very, very close. Like, super close. Alright, so... Let's... 
that's not that handy for right now, which is kind of why I kept these weapons. Plasma rifle. Light assault rifle. Grenade launcher. <laughs> Switch to the bolter pistol. No, wait a minute. Bolter pistol needs repair. Yes. There. Okay. Oh god. I just realized he's missing a head. Borrowed a copy of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. I think it's volume three. I need something to read down in the pit. Much oblige. Okay. Access repair log. Okay. Corbett just sent a team of technicians to conduct a complete refit of all our mechanicals every century drone. It's not my place to say so, but doesn't this run contrary to Spacer's choice mission of being as cheap as possible? <clears throat> Just in case I'm audited, I would like to formally express how grateful I am to be part of Spacer's Choice family. Spacer's Choice is the leading brand in affordable sundry across Halcyon. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's Choice. Man, some really terrible taglines and branding messages okay just finished a routine maintenance on our mechanical sentries i found some strange modifications to their logic nodules modules i haven't had time to run a diagnostic so i don't know what's been modified all i know is that these modifications were introduced in our recent refit company went through the trouble of refitting every single mechanical in the plant not long ago, guessing this was the work of those visiting technicians. I filed a report, but my supervisor told me not to worry about it. Said the company knew what it was doing, ordered me to forget about any alleged modifications to the logic modules. Decided to do a bit of sleuthing by my own self. Got my hands on a logic module. Time to do a little experimentation. Self-diagnostics complete. Navigation systems. Oh, that's the one I. <laughs> Combat systems operational. Cool. It's not the best choice. It's the spacer's choice. I'm gonna say you made it out of the junkyard. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's choice would like to thank you for complying with your duties. This is odd. Why aren't you attacking me? Actions towards Spacer's choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion: All hostile auto mechanicals must be defective. So he hasn't been with Spacer's choice policy. All defective auto mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. 
Please allow me to assist. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Let me get this straight. You want me to help? You want to help me destroy other mechanicals? Mechanicide protocols loaded. Awaiting confirmation. Oh, confirmation granted. I like the sound of that. <laughs> I do. Thanks, buddy. Got new pal. Where's he going? Oh, hey, a mad pal. He is just going. <laughs> I'll follow this guy. I have a hard time telling him apart from the other ones. Man, he's slow! <laughs> A little faster would be nice, dude. Well, I know where I am. He needs a name. He just cooked through that door with his gun. No, 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 just leave me alone. So it's hidden hidden's the security guard, the security chief. I found him. I guess he is alive. We're going down these stairs. I'll beat you there. <laughs> so will she. In her really slow pace. Go away, Phantom. Now what direction are you going, man? Calm down, man. Well, we're obviously going in here. Question is, which direction is he going? He could be cuter. Now we're in here. Now where do you want to go? I've killed most of the auto mechanicals in here. <laughs> He's like pausing and going, oh. They're dead. Never mind. This way? Also killed these ones. <laughs> I may not need your help. Oh wow. Get the grip on that gun. Kinda cool. I'd like to fire it at some point. See what it looks like. Going up this way? God, he's so slow. Come oh, on, there's my other switch. The last. I'm not sure what the ride is. Where is he going? Is the decision's final. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Where'd he go? There he is. Is this where you wanted to go? <laughs> We've been in here, man. 
Pretty sure I killed them all. So you're a lot of help. He's stuck on me. <laughs> Dude, seriously, where are you going? <laughs> You're just walking around this place in a general circle. <laughs> back to where you were. Where are you going? going back in here. No? I don't know where he's going. Are you just going in a circle? Seriously, I think I've killed them all. Alright, I need to go down, I suppose. That'll be where Hawthorne, oh, <coughs> excuse me, is. No, 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 just leave me alone. Pigeons, not Hawthorne. I'm Hawthorne. Calm down. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. Uh, one. Calm down. I'm not trying to hurt you. Talk? Yeah. The Phantom's never talked before. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. So he's been stuck here for a while. You're not imagining me. Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Good. <laughs> Back away slowly. I'll just be on my way. How long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. Well, he's My definitely insane. Fuzzy these days. Uh huh. And what exactly do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years: Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. Is a Sisty Pig for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Uh. You were an I engineer? In auto mechanicals, drones, centuries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Well, they're all already dead. <laughs> so one is not going to be helpful. Is that before or after you became a sissy pig tycoon? How long have you been living down here? This place looks like it's been abandoned for a while. What happened? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. 
It was pandemonium. Why didn't you die? Yeah, that's just <laughs> one. I know how it happened. Okay. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Oh, you poor baby. <laughs> Been down here the whole time? How did you not starve? Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Why didn't you try to leave? That's what I want to know. So you ate sprats. Mechanicals lost their oh. bolts. Ah. Open fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. Oops. You mean why did the mechanicals go on a murderous rampage? Same reason any of us do, I suppose. No. The voices told him to do it. Oh god. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Alright, what's wait a minute. I specialized in auto mechanicals. How long have you been living down here? Jimmy'd open the vending machines. That lasted ah. a good couple of months. You ate sprats. Braised. Boiled. Charred. Skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. What were you burning? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Open fire on... <laughs> you mean why did... I was on clean... I just won. Look. I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Oh no. As opposed to guns? Okay. Uh, I'll persuade. I can deal with mechanicals. I made it this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. You never were. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Okay, so I'm gonna go with one. Mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act including whom they shoot at. Oh, that, was... that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Uh, any idea where I can find a logic module? Funny thing. I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Yeah, because I need Security one. chief found me and confiscated the logic module. Damn it. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular <laughs> delicacy. This guy is so weird. Alright. Forgot what you were gonna say? Me too. Okay. Bye. I already took out all the mechanicals. Like, seriously. All of them. And there's nothing down here. Oh, except for this. I need that. Sleep. No, I'm not gonna sleep in his brody bed. Ooh, what is this? Impact hammer. It's not stealing. Where'd that mechanical go? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Okay, it wants me to leave. Journal. Quest. Okay. 
now I can redirect the power. Okay. Yeah, I kind of know that. All right, let's try. In around. Yeah, there are no more enemies in this place. Oh, let me run. Yeah, because I'm still encumbered, aren't I? So is he... Yeah, I'm moving super slow now. Nope, not back where I left him. Yeah, I'll try that out. need two of those. Where do you see your- is this it? That's the number? That 8190? How many friggin' messages on my phone? There, that's better. Don't you get that open? Is there anything new I can do in here? Ugh, just don't have enough mag picks for that. That's the exit, isn't it? Are you sure you're telling me to go to the right place? Yeah, over here. All right. Once we do this, there's no going back. Yeah, I know. Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power <sighs> regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? See, now you're giving me a freaking choice. Alright. What do you think, Pavardi? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. They're not helping you the anymore. Got some good people in it. Decent, hardworking folk just living their lives the only way they know how. 
They don't deserve to be punished. They are being punished by this freaking... <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna go with three. The deserters are a community. I can't just destroy what they've built. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? I don't really think she's about talking about hatred. I think she's... She hates Spacer's choice. And what they've done to the people. That sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. And Mr. Yeah, Thompson's is that true? Eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back... Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. The thing is, is that Spacer's Choice is abandoning you, slowly but surely. So the town's gonna fail anyway. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Don't worry about it. I was barely listening to you. All right, I'm just saying. I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Oh, hey. There's stuff over here. Okay. Let's redirect the power. Okay, I know it's irreversible. Let's redirect power to the botanical laboratory. Okay. Edgewater power regulator is now safe to remove. Oh. <laughs> they want me to be reprimanded. <laughs> Sorry, Pavardi, but I did what I thought was right. So that mechanical just like disappeared? Or is it still walking through the place? It's in here? Yeah. I mean, they... they very clearly... She very, very clearly, Spacer's Choice, killed all these people. So, obviously... Oh, hey, there's something over there. <laughs> I'm not okay with them. Okay. Yeah, because look, that guy doesn't have a head. Do you know whose fault that is? That's Spacer's Choice's fault. That is why I chose the community. I need to come back here at some point when I have more mags. Yeah, you can't see that mechanical anywhere on the map. Alright. Gotta have to hold it. I never got to fire this new pistol. 
That's how tiny it is? That's really small. You should play some music while they're on this screen. Just so it's not so painful <laughs> to sit here <laughs> and stare at this. Spacer's choice. Mm -hmm. There's no choice in anything that they do. Which is part of the reason why I shut down the community. I mean, shut down the town. This is taking a long time. Are you okay, Tower Worlds? Did you trip and fall? Did you hurt yourself? So Thanksgiving break is coming up. Probably going to use the time to get ahead on some of the other video types. Like the Let's Play game. Sunday Book Circle. Maybe even a pre-watch Let's Post Be Review. Maybe Avengers Infinity War. Oh my god. Alright, I'll take a nap. At least it's playing music, though. So how was your weekend? God, this is ridiculous. Finally, Jesus. All right, game, work. Make me wait that long. I was wondering if I could shut this off. Oh my god. Shut that off. Ooh. Okay, come on. Catch up. Okay, who's that? Are these marauders that I just ran into? <laughs> yes, they are. And my game is lagging so bad right now. Like, I cannot do anything. You work. Well, now I feel bad. <laughs> Should I not be using this? Now it's working. That was awful. Like the pop in for those marauders took quite a while and it's still chugging like crazy right now. I think my memory is falling apart on me.
I just want to get to the town so I can stop playing. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. What even is going on here? Okay. Come on. Just get to the door. And okay. Oh my god. That was insane. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so like, share, subscribe, click the bell, follow me on Reddit, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, join my Discord from the channel banner link, and uh, follow me on Patreon uh, so that I can make more videos like this, and, well, better than this, that chugging in the end was shitty, um, <laughs> and buy some stuff at my, uh, <laughs> at my shop at cafepress.com slash outs of all trades and uh don't watch youtube tomorrow and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>